From Anderson Silva's front kick KO against Vitor Belfort, to Conor McGregor sending Jose Aldo into the shadow realm, these are the best MMA knockouts of all time. Silva's one of the greatest fighters, and Vitor learned that the hard way. When both men faced off in the main event of UFC 126, the MMA world was beyond excited because we knew it was going to be a certified banger. But interestingly enough, the fight got off to a very slow start, with both men being pretty inactive for the first couple of minutes. Soon after though, things became far more interesting, and then, with 1 minute and 42 seconds left, Silva unleashed a vicious front kick that landed right on Vitor's chin and sent him straight to the canvas. Then the spider landed two fists to Belfort's chin, knocking him out cold. Now if you like front kick KOs, then I'm sure you'll love Michael Chandler's KO against Tony Ferguson. We all know and love both men as two of the most exciting fighters of all time. So when they were up against each other, fans were over the moon. Unfortunately for Tony though, it was Chandler who'd come out on top and in dominant fashion. After a banger of a first round, Mike spent the first few seconds of the second round stalking Ferguson before smacking his chin with a deadly front kick that knocked Tony out cold. The KO was the definition of brutal. Remember the time Francis Ngannou steamrolled Alistair Overeem? The two giants collided in the co-main of UFC 218, and as you can imagine, everyone was hyped as hell for the fight. Reem opened the fight by jumping forward and throwing a left hook, but that didn't land, so he resorted to clinching the Predator. Once they got out of the clinch, they tried to get the best of each other, but it was Francis who came out on top as he smoked Overeem with the deadliest uppercut in UFC history. I mean, Reem's head literally snapped back before he fell to the canvas, and Ganu even hit him with a hammer fist. How does someone even survive that? And I was wondering the same thing when Edson Barboza knocked out Terry Edom. Prime Barboza was a certified killer and in all honesty he was a walking highlight reel. He destroyed his opponents in epic fashion, especially Terry. With around 2 minutes left in round 3, Barboza whipped out a lethal spinning wheel kick from out of nowhere, sending Edom straight to the ground. He was out cold and as expected, the commentators and everyone else in attendance went wild. But as insane as this knockout was, Josh Emmett's KO against Bryce Mitchell's got it beat. The featherweights matched up against each other at UFC 296, and even though Mitchell needed the win real bad, he ended up getting flatlined like never before. Within just two minutes of the fight starting, Josh hit Bryce with a clean, powerful right hand that sent him into another dimension. The KO was so brutal that Mitchell literally had a seizure after he went down. It was a scary sight and unlike one we've ever seen before. Speaking of things we've never seen before, I've got to mention Yair Rodriguez's KO against the Korean Zombie. The fight was a banger as expected, because they're two of the most entertaining featherweights of the modern era, but once the fight was coming to a close, it was obvious that the Korean Zombie was going to win on the judges' scorecards. He knew it, and even Yair knew it, but the Korean Zombie made a huge mistake towards the end of the fight, as he decided to march up to the Mexican and started trading blows. During the exchange, Rodriguez landed an elbow that knocked the Korean zombie out cold just a second before the fight ended, giving El Pantera one of the wildest wins in MMA history. Now KOs are always cool but getting them in championship fights? That's way better. And one of the most brutal KOs with the title on the line came at UFC 261 when Kamaru Usman flatlined Jorge Masvidal. When Usman was in his prime, he was untouchable and Gamebred learned that the hard way. After winning their first fight via decision at UFC 251, Kamaru was on a mission to humble Jorge once and for all. He could only do that by knocking him out cold, and that's exactly what the Nigerian Nightmare did. Just a little over a minute into the second round, he unleashed a lethal right hand that sent Jorge to sleep. And to make things even more brutal, Usman landed a ton of fists on his downed opponent to punctuate the win. Unfortunately for Kamaru, he was on the receiving end of an unbelievable knockout just a year and a half later, when Leon Edwards finished him. UFC 278 was supposed to be the night the Nigerian Nightmare solidified himself as the greatest welterweight of all time. And with how he was dominating Leon all night long, it looked like he would take the victory. Even the commentators were talking about how Leon looked like he accepted the defeat. But the MMA gods were on Edwards' side that night because, with less than a minute left in the fight, he landed a head kick that knocked Kamaru out cold. Everything about this was insane, 
especially when you couple John Anik's call with the KO and the time at which it came. The MMA world was in disbelief, and that was also the case when Islam Makachev knocked Alexander Volkanovsky out. The Islam vs Volk rivalry was one for the ages. When they met at UFC 284, we were treated to an absolute banger and one of the closest fights you'll ever see. So fans were dying to see the rematch. And with Charles backing out at UFC 294, we got to see Volk and Islam go at it again. But to everyone's surprise, Islam made light work of Volk and knocked him out for the first time since 2013 and the first time in the UFC. No one could believe what had happened, especially since no one ever walked through Alex like that. But then, Ilya Tapuria did the exact same thing at UFC 298. Ilya was talking all sorts of trash to Volk in the build-up to the fight, and he was showing Connor levels of arrogance. While many had faith in the fact that Alex would humble him, some were worried about the quick turnaround. But either way, the vast majority of people thought Volk would win easily. Instead, it was Tapuria who literally knocked Volkanovsky out with a brutal flurry of punches. And just like that, the man who was once one of the greatest fighters in the UFC got knocked out cold two fights in a row, leaving us all beyond shocked. But some KOs leave fans hyped as hell, sort of like Israel Adesanya's against Alex Pereira. After losing twice to Alex in kickboxing, Izzy only embarrassed himself some more when he lost his middleweight title to the Brazilian at UFC 281. Stylebender obviously got an immediate rematch since he was such a dominant champ, but all the pressure was on him. It was do or die, because if he lost again, his career would have pretty much been over. But he dug deep inside, and at UFC 287 he delivered one of the most exciting and legendary knockouts the sport has ever seen. The crowd went wild as soon as he knocked Alex down, and to make things even more iconic, he hit the Brazilian with the bow and arrow celebration. It was insane, but it wasn't record-breaking like Masvidal's KO against Ben Askren. At UFC 239, Gamebred became a superstar as he knocked Ben out with a flying knee in just 5 seconds, earning himself the fastest KO in UFC history in the process. It all happened so fast that no one could even process what happened, but it's a moment that'll go down as one of the greatest of all time. That said, the greatest KO ever came in December of 2015. Yep, you guessed it. I'm talking about Connor's KO against Aldo. The build-up to the fight was insane. As McGregor broke Jose down mentally before they finally met in the octagon at UFC 194. Once the bell rang, the energy was electric, and Connor looked more confident than ever, while Jose looked incredibly nervous. And before we knew it, Mystic Mac landed a right hand that knocked Aldo out in 13 seconds, giving McGregor the fastest KO in a championship fight, allowing him to solidify himself as a superstar that transcended the sport. So from Anderson Silva's front kick KO against Vitor Belfort, to Conor McGregor sending Jose Aldo into the shadow realm, those were the best MMA knockouts of all time.